we jump straight into today's video which is all about dealing with eye issues. So as you can imagine, eyes are probably the thing that gets damaged the most. So let's just look at it in two ways. Are both eyes damaged or is one eye damaged? Are both eyes damaged and there are other fish affected or is it just the one fish? So these things will allow you to work out if it's an environmental parameter or if it is an actual localized issue and damage from an injury. Now quite often you see people saying you'll heal it with fresh water, good clean water change, keep the water quality. These things help but they're never going to affect a localized infection or a localized issue. It might affect a fish that's got both eyes that are cloudy because that's kind of indicative of it being poor water quality. So high ammonia values, constant abrasiveness, damage in the eye and calling, causing that scarification. But almost in every issue you notice it's only ever one eye and that comes from fish being territorial with each other, maybe getting a scuff and that scuff can either be breaking the membrane or just on the outside. So quite often a bump you'll see it will raise up, it will be a little bit cloudy, opaque. Then the other, which is a little bit more sinister, is when you actually get damage to that eye, a secondary bacterial infection kicks in and then you see almost like a cataract forming or a, a, a scarification. So the fish's immune system might be able to bounce you out of that but almost in most situations because I think a lot of them don't have the right bioflora to help them they end up getting worse and this is what you then happen when that secondary bacterial infection really takes hold the tissue explodes with internal flagellates you get this level of swelling and inflammation and then eventually it all just ruptures out and spores cysts into the water so the key things that we want to work out is it environmental or is it localized if it's localized has it scarred the eye to the point that good water quality, maybe a salt solution in the water, as well as maybe a bit of rest in another environment might all be options to get it. If the actual eye, the skin of the eye or the, the epidemial layer of the eye is damaged, chances are bacterial infection is going to get in there. And salt water changes, those things, not so effective. You might have to look at something really that's more targeted for bacterial infection. So hopefully this all makes sense. We will, over the next time, be talking about the actual implementation of this. One of our previous videos talks about utilizing furin 2, which is a good gram-negative, gram-positive bacterial remedy. So, hope this makes sense. Hope you enjoy it, and good luck out there.